remember seeing headlines over the summer about mass coral die-offs and extremely high water temperatures in the Florida Keys. I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley, and during that time, thousands of corals were evacuated to help preserve these vulnerable ecosystems. And now those corals are being returned to the ocean and underwater nurseries. 7,000 colonies that have gone out uh, to date, and then we have uh, you know, thousands more that are that are in the in the various stages of that process of getting them back offshore. Those corals were evacuated during the record breaking heat wave in July. During that time, locations in the Florida Keys and Florida Bay saw temperatures reaching 100 degrees. When waters stay too hot for too long, many corals will lose their symbiotic algae that feeds and gives the coral its colors. Now Moat is learning from those corals. What survived, why it survived, where it survived, and, and how we can integrate those into the restoration process even more. Part of the fix for our reefs is to plant corals back into the natural reef. But those corals need a high likelihood of survival to thrive. Breeding, uh, parents that are resilient to one, stra one stress or, or one suite of stresses with parents that are resilient to another suite of stresses to get juveniles that are resilient to, you know, a, a combination thereof. Moat then plans to plant these stress resilient corals back on the natural reef. We're putting the corals that have the adaptive potential to deal with these stresses as they happen again and again, which which they will. Um, so that we're building resilience into that restored community. But like Dr. Jason Spadardo inferred, with climate change and a warming ocean, these high temperature bleaching events could become more frequent. And there's been quite a bit of speculation that uh, this summer was just the warm up for next summer. Uh, and we're ready for it. We, we saw the resilience in, in our restored communities, in our natural community, and in our, in our restoration pipeline. Unfortunately, the living corals on Florida's reefs only covers about 5% of the actual reef. That makes natural recovery unlikely. Moat says recovery of function is likely dependent on human restoration. In studio, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.